Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Egyptian god Horus. I'm going to come right in the center of my paper and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line down, little curve line in, and then wavy, wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy, wavy line, curve line, connect. Come back to the dot. I'm going to go straight line out, curve line down, and I'm going to leave that floating. We're going to have a lot of floating lines today. I come back to the left, right about here, I'm going to draw a curve line down, and I'm going to leave that floating also. Okay? I come back to the right, and right about here, I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line out, up, connect, and right above that I'm going to draw a curve line out, in, and up. Floating line again. Starting on the top, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, big curve line, curve line up, connect, and then a little bit over onto the left I'm going to draw a curve line down, wavy, wavy, wavy line, up, connect. I come back to the right and starting right about here I'm just going to draw one, two, three, four, five slightly curved lines. Come over here to the left and I'm just going to connect, connect, connect with a curve, a slightly curved line down, over, up, connect. Inside I draw one, two, three baby circles. Now I come over here on the left hand side and starting right about here I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five slightly curved lines. Come over to the left. We're just going to connect them. Uh, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect, and inside we're going to draw one, two, three baby circles. Now we're going to start right here at this floating line that we left floating, and now we're just going to draw a slightly curved line over. Don't draw through your drawing. You're going to jump over and draw a straight line, curve line down off the page, come to the left hand side, straight line out, curve line down off the page. Come inside right here and we're just going to draw one, two, three curved lines and inside we're going to put one, two, three, four, five baby circles, come down to the next row, one, two, three, four, five, six baby circles, come to the last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven baby circles. Everybody's is going to look a little bit different because we all draw differently. Now come over here on the left and we're just going to draw one, two, jump over, three, slightly curved lines, come on the right, one, two, three, slightly curved lines on the left, okay? Now come all the way back up here where our first dot was. We're going to draw a curved line, big curved line up little curve line out, in, big curve line back, and connect. Starting right about here we're just going to draw a little straight line across and now we're going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down until it hits on the right, 
Come on the left, we're going to draw slightly curved line out, straight line in, connect. And right here at the top, we're going to draw a curved line, spiral, and then come back down, curve line down, connect. Okay? Come back over here. If you have room, you can add straight lines. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, there is a lot going on in this drawing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish and color this section in with my marker just so that I can see what's happening. And then I'm going to take my black and I'm going to color this part space black. And I know you will do a better job than I am doing right now. This part is also black. But I'm going to take my scarlet or my red and I'm just going to add in between my lines a little bit of red. Then carefully, that's the key word, I'm going to draw or color in black by the red, hopefully not taking it all out. And this section is also black. Okay? Now, I had brown, so I took brown and I did this section brown and I did this section brown. Okay? I also took brown and I did this space right here. Now, this is kind of important because once we've done this section, the rest of him can be colored using any colors you want. So naturally, I went through all my colors and I got a bunch of different colors to use. The main thing is, is that you're going for a pattern. So if you do green over here, you need to do green over here. And while I have that color out, I might do some of these little baby circles intermittently, okay? Maybe one here on the headdress. Okay, then I got purple somewhere. Yes, I have purple and I did this part of my shoulder. These are purple. So if I do it on the left, I got to do it on the right, vice versa. I did orange. Again, symmetrical, orange, and then I did my blue-green, turquoise blue, okay? But like I said, you can color this in, all the headdress and all of this stuff, any colors you want. So now I'm going to add my blue-green, so i got to do it over here, blue-green. Then I'm going to add some yellow right here by my neck jewelry, then I did orange. So you can see this is very, very intricate in the way that you color. The main thing to remember is like what I just said, make it symmetrical. Whatever you do on the right, you do on the left. Whatever you do on the left, you do on the right. Okay? Color all the way through every section, make it a color. Don't try to skip, it'll show. And work your way back and forth, like I said, symmetrically adding your colors. Okay? Now, I made a mistake last time and I drew Ra and said he was Horus. This, I hope, rectifies that situation. This is Horus. And how do I know? Now I know because of this big hat or headdress or crown that he wears. Okay? All right. Let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, this is Horus all colored in, ready to join the other Egyptian gods. Okay, bye-bye.